very big, um, very big, very high energy um, and very capable as well. Welcome to day three of Formnext 2021, where we've been carrying the cameras all up and down the trade show floors, getting people's thoughts and opinions on the latest printers, materials and trends that we've seen at the show so far. And joining me today to discuss some of these is Ian Falconer, CEO and founder of Fishy Filaments. First of all, I'd just like to say a big congratulations from all of the 3D printing industry team because obviously Fishy Filaments won the Tuvsud Sustainability and Additive Manufacturing Award and I would like to present you with it right now at the show. Thank you very much. No problem, no problem. So obviously we spoke a little bit on the live award tonight but uh, I just wondered if you had any comments on winning the award and what it means to the company. Uh, it, it's immense for Fishy Filaments. Um, it's, uh, we're a tiny, tiny company based in the far southwest of Cornwall, right on the tip of the UK, uh, and to win a global award voted for by, I think, 140,000 people? Yeah, a lot of people. Not, not all for us, but within the awards, uh, it, it's, it's a spectacular vote of um, confidence in, in what we're doing and why we're doing it. Um, and it, it really puts us on a different stage. So, yeah, thank you very much for, for 3D printing new, industry news. It's uh, very, very welcome. Amazing. And I suppose for people who perhaps aren't so familiar, why don't you tell us a little bit about the company and, and how it came to be? Sure. So, uh, Fisher Filaments um, is uh, a company that is set up to recycle used fishing gear. Um, primarily, what we're doing is recycling uh, nylon monofilament, PA6 into material for 3D printing. Um, so we, uh, we have a proprietary recycling process um, that allows us to recycle the nets on the harbour side with very, very low uh, energy uh, and low, well, zero chemical input. Um, and uh, we can output a, a 3D printable uh, material within Cornwall um, and uh, really make the most of that waste locally. Um, and kickstart industries uh, and businesses based on that waste um, using 3D printing and do that locally and really kind of close the loop on the material, uh, maximise the benefit of, of uh, what recycling and uh, minimise the harm that it's doing. And what kind of applications can uh, the material be used for? Uh, limited by your own imagination really. I mean, we've had applications in uh, fashion, in um, engineering, uh, there's been uh, parts in uh, f various formulas of uh, motor racing, um, there's been uh, uh, homewares, lighting, um, we've had uh, proposals to use it in um, uh, as components for um, uh, electronics, it really is very, very wide. It's, it, PA6 is a, is, a, is a widely used engineering grade material so it has plenty of applications and there's, there's lots you can do with it after printing with it so you can dye it or you can post process it to make it watertight and it'll hold chemist, chemical, uh, um, uh, corrosive chemicals so it, it, you really are not limited by the, the material, it's, it's really good material to work with. And in terms of um, your time at the show, you've been here today walking up and down the trade show floors so what have been your impressions in terms of um, perhaps the sustainability announcements firms are making or you know, have you seen more of those this year perhaps than you have previously? Sustainability is a little bit of an odd one because it means different people, different things to different people and different companies. Um, for uh, some companies it's all about minimising waste or harm within their own uh, manufacturing process but for us it's about minimising harm in the wider environment. Um, and uh, minimise the, the impact of, car uh, of 3D printing uh, on the basis of carbon uh, emissions as well. So it's really kind of the global impact that we're trying to reduce. Um, we are still quite far ahead in, in that, quite in the vanguard of that kind of approach, um, but we're seeing more and more larger and larger companies take sustainability to their heart, um, and that's great from whichever aspect they're taking it. So taking that first step into reducing waste, reducing energy consumptions, reducing emissions is, is positive whichever way it happens. Um, there's still some way to go. Mm -hmm. um, a, lot of a lot of the technologies are still very, very high energy, high consumables um, and uh, relatively um, difficult to achieve in a, uh, in a stable manner, but they offer benefits perhaps in the, in the produced, in the end product. 
so perhaps they're, they're producing a, a metal heat exchanger that is 10 times better than the previous manufacturing technology. So within the um, sustainability space, sometimes the focus is actually on the end product rather than the, the technology and techniques used within 3D printing. So it really is a very, very wide uh, range of approaches people are taking. And in terms of maybe more generally, what kind of things have you noticed as you've um, been at the show? I mean, are there any particular trends or things that people have said, discussions you've had where um, you can identify key themes? Sure. Uh, big. Yeah. Lots of big, big printers. <laughs> yeah. Very big, um, very big, very high energy um, and very capable as well. Um, where big printers perhaps three years ago were on, on the limits. There were only two or three players that were looking at meter plus scales. Um, there are uh, a good 10 or 15 out there that are now bringing uh, viable products to market, both in metals and in, in polymers, and in concrete, and in uh, ceramics, and in this and that and the other. So um, big is very definitely a theme here. Um, metals are going higher and higher up the technology scale. Um, they don't appear to be becoming more affordable. They appear to be going more technical, um, which is kind of shame, but it's the way the, the, way the, the economics work. Um, uh, I would have liked to have seen more variety in the materials and metals, but again, that's a very, very high uh, R&D cost uh, pursuit, so that will take time. Um, uh, quite surprised to have few FDM printers that are here. Mm -hmm. it's, it is really is very dominated by metals. Um, I want to put a shout out for one particular uh, technology. There was a, um, a, a silicone um, uh, low run injection molded print technology. So you, you uh, print the printer mold in silicone and then injection mold into the, into the print. Right, okay, yeah. So a, a, a halfway house between injection molding and 3D printing. I, I thought that was nice and I, I will be pursuing that one. <laughs> Amazing. And so. In terms of, um, like you said, the technology is perhaps getting more capable, do you see people are showcasing a lot more applications as opposed to just the hardware, you know, now the technology has come to fruition? Yeah, I mean, the, the way that the economics work is you're always going to get um, uh, high value products come to market first. So medical is a, a very high value uh, market and now we're seeing an increasing number of technologies coming out and maturing in that. Um, obviously, aerospace are, uh, is another area that has historically been the, the, the core of metal and, and polymer 3D printing and additive manufacturing. Um, and it, it's good to see a little bit of a crossover between those two worlds, uh, not, not medical, between uh, metals, uh, aerospace and FDM aerospace. So we're seeing drones made out of carbon fibre and those kind of things. And I, it's good to see that the, the people having a bit of crossover between the end product and the, the technologies. Looking ahead perhaps five years in the future, I mean, where do you see 3D printing? How do you see the future of, of additive manufacturing? From a fishery filament's point of view, I'd like to see a lot more local localization of the, of the whole supply chain, a closing of the loop of waste and uh, an inclusion of maybe non-specialist materials in 3D printing. So development of things like concrete 3D printers, I think, is a, is a, is a big thing. You're getting into building and construction. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean printing in concrete. There's printing forms and working uh, with formers and, and moulds and those kind of things. I think we're going to see a lot more of that kind of large, large scale, maybe multi-material. Um, metals will continue to get more and more uh, high value, more and more complex because the technology is just getting better and better. Um, uh, I would like to see uh, sustainability embedded in all of the supply chains of all of the various different technologies because that's how we get better as, as, a, as an industry. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for sharing your time with us and your thoughts. And, uh, yep, congratulations once again on the award. Thank you very much. Sustainability is a bit, of, a bit of an odd one because it means uh, different things to different people and different mm -hmm. companies. Um, so uh, 